everybody so i'm back with another video i hope you guys missed me um i'm currently working on a first impressions um on this foundation that i'm wearing which will be in this haul video so i'll mention it in a moment so yeah i have filmed since my pink eye went away and it was just horrible like i lost footage i was having problem with editing it's just been a nightmare so you guys probably saw my thanksgiving day video and haven't seen anything since so I'm just trying to get back into the filming schedule like I was before. I think I was really on top of things. So, yeah, I just have a really quick haul for you guys. Um, so let me just talk about this foundation that I'm currently testing. It is the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Foundation. And I got it in the color Nude. So I'm not going to talk too much about it because I am reviewing it. And everything is from all different kind of places. Nothing is from anywhere in particular. Um, this one, this, I also, since I liked my Wet n Wild Fergie Rose Gold, I got this one in the color To Reflect. Um, it, it's broken, so I don't want to open it. Let me see if I can do a swatch. It's really, like, the whole thing is out of the pan. I'm not even going to show you. But yeah, it's just like a gold, a gold highlight. So I thought that would be really pretty. Because I do like the formula of the rose golden one. Um, I picked up two of the NYC liquid liners. I heard so much good reviews about this. I got it one in just regular black and one in pearlized black. I thought pearlized black, since it has like glitter in it, would be nice for the holidays. So yeah, I got that. This is going to be a mostly liquid liners haul, I think. Not mostly, but there are the next few products are gonna be liquid liners. So I picked up the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen. I want to try that. It's a dollar, so you can't really go too wrong with that. Um, I finally got the Maybelline Line Stiletto in the black is black formula. Since I picked up the brownish black before, got the black is black now. Um so yeah, I'm excited to try that because I saw a lot of good things about that. Um, I'm also going to try the L'Oreal Linear Intense. I haven't really heard much about this one, so I'm excited to try that one. Um, and I also want to try the Physician's Formula. <laughs> sorry, Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen. This is also one of those brush applicators, which I love. It's Seems like it's going to be like the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and the Lorac Front of the Line Liner, which is my favorite. It's what I used today. So I hope it's like that to have a drugstore alternative. This is on the pricier side of the drugstore, but they did have 40% um, off of Physician's Formula. So I did pick that up. That is it, actually. And there's two things I picked up. And those, I can't even remember. They're from all random um, stores. So these two things I actually got from the dollar store. This is Maybelline Extreme Moisture Lip Liner in the color Karma. So I thought it would be, it looks like that Kylie Jenner kind of color. So I thought it would be nice to try that out. And then this was at the dollar store too. It is the e.l.f. Shadow Stick in Midnight. Well, it looks like it has two, a liner and... A shadow stick so one side is blue and one side is the midnight color I really that midnight color really drew to me uh, oh at um, five below I saw this setting spray by city color cosmetics I've been really trying to try different setting sprays because I've really been stuck on my urban decay all-nighter so I branched out to my um, model in a bottle which I actually put in my elf mist and set setting spray because I had like the old one that was in the glass bottle and the spray was like psh, just that it was just horrible so I put it in that spray bottle and it's been working phenomenally for me so um I figured I'd give this one a try let me see if there's any claims for this doesn't really have much claims it's just a setting spray with silica, which I'm not really too familiar with silica, so I have to read up on it. But there's another, and I like the spray. I like the bottle, so it's really cute. Um, Sorry, I'm running through this. I have to get going. Um, I picked up two of the 
Milani Bella Gel Powder Eyeshadows. I picked up Bella Emerald and Bella Copper. So they're super pretty. I guess you guys can see the color. I'll do a swatchy swatch. -y -swatch. And Bella Emeralds. I want to start playing with jewel tones a little bit more. I really don't, so. It always looks pretty when other people play with them. And this is Bella Copper. You can't go wrong with copper colors. Definitely can't go wrong with the copper colors. So that's really pretty. Okay, and my local... One of my local Walgreens carries Makeup Academy now. So I didn't... When I went in there, I was like, I've heard of it. But not much, so I didn't really pick up anything. I just picked up this one item, and this is a lip scrub because they had these little pamphlets with um, coupons in it, and I think there was like a one dollar off anything, and this might have been like four bucks. So I figured I'd just use that, use the coupon, and get a squeezy lip scrub. I do have one by Lush that's kind of like in a pot, so I thought this would be a good alternative, which it is. Um, it's not. I wouldn't say it's as good as the Lush one. Um, as a lip scrub, but this one does kind of, uh, it smells really minty too, it's so good. But, um, it seems like it has, it's kind of, it's hard to explain, it's what it is. So, it's like, I don't know if you can see that, it's like a gel texture, but in it there's like sugar in it. And it like moisturizes and scrubs your lips at the same time. But not as scrubby as the Lush one. Oh, that makes sense. It does moisturize it too. Um, I picked up this Maybelline Shine Free Fit Me Foundation. Um, I did get it in the color Coconut. Because I thought this would be a good color for cream contouring. Not what I use today. I literally just twisted it open right here. So yeah. I think that would be good for cream contouring for me. So yeah, I'm excited for that because I haven't really tried cream contouring too much on myself. I do it on my clients all the time, but on myself, I don't. Um, I picked up two lipsticks. Um, this one is from the Maybelline Mattes, and this is Touch of Spice, which I heard is on point with, a uh, Loewe said it, on point with the whole Kylie Jenner thing. It's coming up kind of pink on camera, but it's definitely that mauve browny color. So... I'm excited to try that because you guys know it's all up my alley. And I also picked up Jennifer's Nude, which is a nude color. It looks a lot like Ferris Nude, but it is more sheer and more shiny. So I, I, I literally had to like go over that like five times just for that swatch to come up. So it's a sheer nude, but it's nice for kind of every day. And, okay, the last thing I picked up was Sage Vite because I, I do want to have nice nails. Like, my nails look okay right now. And, um, just, you know, I have kids. Like, I'm always, like, doing laundry, washing dishes, just doing stuff all the time. So, my nails chip really easily. And I can say that this is, like, two and a half days. I'm not the best nail painter, so don't mind it. But, it's there. That's the part that is the best. It's there and it's like two and a half days and it's not really, it's a little chippy on the edges but they're not like peeling off and coming off like it usually is. So hallelujah for that. So yeah, such be, and I also got the dry, the dry, the fast dry um formula. So yeah, and I didn't know that you can get this at like Rite Aid and stuff. I thought I only saw it at Sally's in Amazon before but I see that you can get it at Rite Aid, so I thought that was good, that it's easily available. Um, yeah, so that's all I really had to share with you guys for today. It is a quick haul, and yeah, if, I, if this review is complete, I would definitely leave it down below. If not, definitely check my channel, um, check back, check back to my channel for the review. I think you guys will like it. It'll be my first first impressions and review on a foundation. So I'm really excited for that. I'm going to try to keep these videos rolling. Probably some more holiday looks. Hopefully some more collabs. Um, so yeah, some more um, 
kind of outfit-y stuff because you guys seem to really like the plus size outfits. I really do work hard on getting those out to you, to you guys. So um, those are have to be by far um, one of my favorites to film but one that are the most time consuming. So um, if you guys like those, definitely thumbs up this video and I will do more. Um, I really am all about shopping on a budget. Especially for clothes because I am a work, I'm a stay at home mom. Not stay at home, but I work from home. So I really don't go out much to even like splurge on clothing items and things like that. I'm just home. I'm just home. So really not no reason to splurge unless I go out and things like that. Which isn't that often. So I'm rambling now. Um... So yeah, if you like those, definitely thumbs this up and I will definitely make more of those. If there's anything else you guys would like to talk about, even if you, even if it's something I haven't talked about yet on this channel, I would definitely, you know, I am open to suggestion. I want to definitely branch out more to than, to just makeup. I mean, more than just makeup. I, I love the fashion. I want to talk about just being a plus size woman in general and being a mother and, um... You know, everything. Everything, anything and everything is definitely going to be talked about on this channel. I definitely want to branch out. Even though makeup is my passion, I don't want people to think that that's all that I am. Because that's not. Definitely, I'm way more complex than the makeup and who you see in pictures and in the camera. So, I definitely want to share that more with you guys. So, um, so yeah, any suggestions definitely leave them below and yeah until next time definitely subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video and yeah, bye guys